So today the Panasonic S1 is officially announced and I gotta say, I'm actually not too crazy about it. I'll tell you why. Uh, I have some notes here so I don't forget anything because literally it just got announced. So I'm gonna look at this at a videographer standpoint. Now I'm very excited about using it as a hybrid photo and video like you would on a Sony a7 III. So I was actually really excited and there was a lot of hype around it, but today what we're gonna do is break down what we know as far as video side of things. So we all know that it's gonna shoot 4K up to 30 frames per second at full readout pixel to pixel. That's great news. It's gonna be at 420 10-bit, not 422. Now they're saying in the future firmware, they are gonna allow users to pay extra to get a full 422 10-bit internally. Additionally, Vlog is also not for free in this Panasonic S1 camera. Similar to how in the GH5 you had to buy Vlog, well it's the same deal here. Panasonic is also letting the S1 record up to 4K 60 frames per second, but it is limited to 29 minutes. So it shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second, unlimited recording time, and then it shoots 4K 60p with a limit of 29 minutes. So the S1 is gonna come with HDR mode and hybrid log gamma. So that's becoming pretty much standard. So basically what that is, is you record something in HDR, hybrid log gamma, you plug it in your TV and boom, HDR instant. For ISO ranges, this S1 is gonna be able to shoot from 100 ISO to 51,200, which is crazy, but you know, you pretty much have to take that with a grain of salt because even though it goes up that high, we don't know what the usable ISO is at the high ISO range. All right, so this camera is actually pretty decent at the price point of $2,400. But the only problem with this camera is it comes with the L mount, pretty much a Leica, Panasonic and Sigma lens mount, really. So the lenses that are available for this camera is really limited. Right now you can only pre-order with a 24 millimeter to 105 F4, which is really not that fast for a lens. Now I looked at their prime 50 mil and that is a lot of cash. So the challenge with Panasonic is they're gonna have to do something else to convince a lot of people to ditch all their lenses and pretty much buy the new lenses, the L mount lenses that they have, which is gonna be a really hard job. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you are interested in checking out this camera, go ahead and visit BNH. They already have the pre orders. It's gonna be available for pre order today, but it won't be available until April 2019. I'm actually on the fence about this camera because of the whole lens situation. I just don't know. Uh, granted, I don't have that many lens, but as far as their lens lineup right now, it's actually not looking that great. Now I am really hoping for the Sony a7S 3 to be announced this year as well, because I'm kind of more excited about that because it's easier to adapt Canon lenses to Sony. Now with this new L mount, I don't, I don't even know how to get other lenses with it. As far as I know, you have to buy the lenses that they have, which are right now really expensive because they are made by Leica. 